Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Kevin here, top one financial advisor. And best-selling author. We are here to talk about the stock market. Overstock.com just bought the intellectual property rights for Bed, Bath & Beyond, and we need to break this down because I think this is a terrible idea. So let's go ahead and break it down. Overstock is a publicly traded company. OSTK is a stock symbol, and the stock is up more than 60% in the last six months, but it is only up about 6%, almost six, between 6 and 8% over the last year. So they are definitely having a short run up right now. Today alone, the stock was up nearly 20% based on this news. Here's my issue with it. When you buy intellectual property rights from a company, this is like the name, the logo, they're not buying the physical stores, you get to assume their name. Instead of going to just the regular Bed Bath & Beyond.com, you get to buy it and make Overstock.com the new Bed Bath & Beyond.com. That's it. It's like me, if I were to buy the logo to McDonald's, I could use it all over this channel. That would be extremely expensive. And for this deal, this is about $21.5 million for Overstock to do this. Here's my issue. Number one, the stock performance does not match the company performance. Overstock is, is an issue because, and I'll just put it here, they've been losing money, okay? They've been losing money. And of the chart that you see here, only one of those years they had a positive cash flow from their operations. And that was primarily 2020 when everybody was at home and everybody was shopping. Prior to the pandemic, they were losing money. After the pandemic, they were losing money. In fact, from 2021 to 2022, their net income dropped close to 190%. They've been losing money, okay? Just because you change your name, I'm not entirely sure that this is going to change the game. And most importantly, changing your name to a company who also lost in this game that's, that's the issue here. Now, the CEO says that Bed Bath & Beyond was a popular name, it was a household name, it was an iconic name, and that this is what we do. They sell bed, bed stuff, bath stuff, and beyond stuff, apparently, at Overstock.com. And for me, if I am somebody, we've talked about why people aren't shopping there, but if this is the case, as a consumer, as a consumer, if I didn't go to Bed Bath & Beyond, and I never thought to go to Bed Bath & Beyond.com, just because you now bought it, why would I go there now? Like I, I don't see where it's like, oh, it's still alive. I'm going to continue to go there. Like It doesn't have brand association or brand equity in my view. Now, this could also be a millennial view. It could also be someone who didn't grow up shopping there because I didn't have a home when Bed Bath & Beyond was thriving and when they were alive. So I could be a bit biased here, which is why I'm talking to you about it because I want to know whether I, I am wrong. And I could be wrong here. And I, I like to, to challenge my thoughts and challenge my views. So feel free to, to say, look, you are wrong on this. But my thing is whether I'm looking from a marketing perspective, I'm looking at search traffic, all this kind of stuff, outside of the meme stock stuff, nobody's really checking for Bed Bath Beyond, okay? That's why they're bankrupt to begin with. It's like someone buying the naming rights to, let's say, Blockbuster right now. Is that going to help you? Like, what if Hulu, a, a streaming service, said, "Look, we're going to re, we're going to buy out the rights of a dead company, Blockbuster, and rename ourselves"? Is that really going to make a difference if your services are exactly the same? That's the big thing here. Just because you change the name, is that really going to go from you losing twenty, thirty, forty million dollars a year and have you go in the right direction? Just a name change? I mean, look at how. Meta and Facebook, right? They had changed their name. Look at Google and Alphabet. For the most part, they just stayed on the exact same trajectory. There wasn't any major shift in, in what was going on just because of the name change, especially in the case of, of Google and Alphabet. Remember, it used to be called Google. They renamed themselves Alphabet and nothing really changed. It wasn't anything drastic that said, oh, from the time you change your name, everything is now different. I don't really think that's the case. And this is just, I guess, a cosmetic change, a vanity change. I, I really can't tell you. However, it is a Canadian-based company, if I'm not mistaken, in Canada. This is going to take effect here in the next two weeks. In the U.S., you're going to start to see this in August. Now, I say you're going to see this in August if you're in the U.S. And yes, this is an international channel. But are you really going to go to and or the new Bed Bath & Beyond.com? Because you weren't going before. If you were going before, then Bed Bath & Beyond would still be in business. And that, that's my thing. That's my thing. I, I'm looking at this from a marketing perspective and a business perspective, and I cannot find any reason as to why this would make sense. But this is an investing channel. We talk about buying stocks here. And from a stock market perspective, does this make sense to own? 
Long term, my answer is no. Okay, I don't see a good reason as to why, because again, in I think it was four out of the last five years, the company has lost money. And this is Overstock.com has been around for a while. This is not some startup that just popped up out of nowhere and they're expected to lose in the early going. They've had history. They've been around for a while. And to me, it is getting on the unacceptable side for you to still be losing money at the clip that they are. So that is one thing. I'm looking at momentum. Yes, it does have momentum. A stock that's up 66% is definitely going to raise an eyebrow, but I'm not t totally sure here. Is this true belief that people are going to buy and hold for the long term? Is it just something that's exciting that people are doing? Or is it those previous meme traders who bought Bed Bath & Beyond moving over here and trying to run this stock up and see where it goes? I don't know. I really don't know, but I don't think it's a great business plan. I don't understand how CEOs like this can get paid 10 to $15 million a year to come up with what I think is a not smart idea. And we'll see where it goes. It's a waste of $21 million if you ask me, but I'm asking you, what do you think in the comment section below? All right, last thing, as always, you wanna make sure that you check out the members only tomorrow. I'm shifting everything, well, not everything. I'm making major shifts in my portfolio. Everybody inside the members only now already knows what I'm selling. Tonight, y'all gonna figure, figure out what I am buying. So I'm posting that in the members only before everybody else gets to see it. All right, that is it for me. I will talk to y'all on Friday.